ask me what you know is true. Don't have to tell you. I love your precious heart. I I was standing. You were there. Two worlds collided. And they could never tear us apart. We could live. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> hell, I don't even know. Oh, if I oh. hurt you, oh. Oh. <laughs> I make one. is going on guys welcome back to the channel for the bigger the biggest episode of afl mastermind you'll ever see we see we're here with worldwide pop sensation of the hero album my free dreams never come true we are here with kagan mcdonald how are we going you cat <clears throat> that was an unbelievable intro mate um i really appreciate you getting me on i've been watching your channel for a little bit now so um super stoked to collab and super stoked to be involved in this contest um, I've got a little secret to share with you guys, um, this is the second time recording this because my OBS, Skype, they, they don't work well together and Kagan's audio <laughs> was about five minutes delayed. <laughs> so, we've had to record this all again. I've had to make 30 new questions. It, it's been a bit of a scuffle. I, I finally got in Australia's biggest YouTuber on the channel and, and this happens. It, it's, it's awful, but we're back here. New questions. Are you ready to go, mate? Yeah, I'm, I'm ready to go. That's That sort of stuff's happened to me plenty and plenty of times, and second time's the charm anyway. Let's not talk about the result that I had the first time we did this. So it's a new day, it's a new beginning, and uh, yeah, ready to crack in. Um, oh, by the way, I'll, I'll leave Kagan's link in the description, but I, if you're watching this video and you don't know who he is, <laughs> How to play AFL Mastermind. In round one, you have to answer 10 questions about your AFL club at a quick fire pace. In round two, you have to answer 10 questions about AFL general knowledge at a quick fire pace. In round three, you have nine clues to either answer an AFL YouTuber, player, coach, or girl. This is AFL Mastermind. Are you ready? Yep. Quick fire ready. pace, 10 questions about the D's. Your time starts now. In which year did Melbourne win their second grand final? Uh, 1902. 1926. Sure oh, false. Geez. 2015 was Paul Roo's second year coaching at the D's. True. Correct. In which year did the AFL do a tanking investigation into the Demons? 2015. 2012. Which year did Neil Danaher resign as the coach of the D's? 2007. Correct. Who was the coach of the Melbourne team in the century? Uh, Norm Smith. Correct. How many points did the D's lose to the Cats in round 19, 2011? <laughs> 186. Correct. Which former St Kilda coach is now the director of coaching at Melbourne? Alan Richardson. Correct. In which year did Max Gore make his first All-Australian team? Uh, 2018. 2016. Which year did Melbourne have their highest premiership number? Oh, which year did Melbourne have their highest membership numbers of all time? Uh, 2019. Correct. To the nearest hundred, how many games did the Wizard play for the D's? Uh, 100. Correct. Now, uh, Kagan's going to be pretty stoked with that because when we first recorded it, he got five, <laughs> <laughs> which was the lowest score of the entire series in round one. But I think I got three. Oh, did you? <laughs> yeah, well, he got I got three. three. So in the second time recording, <coughs> he's gotten seven in the second time recording. Yeah, now, now we're talking. Yeah, so he just needs now a warm up. Now we're cooking with gas. He's got a bit of an advantage over everyone else with the warm up round. But, um, 
Seven is a very, very good round one total. Remember, the score to beat to play in the AFL Mastermind Grand Final against the winner of season two is 19, set by Kagi. Do you reckon you can get there from here? Oh, look, I wouldn't want to make any assumptions considering how bad I went in all the rounds last time, but um, look, I'll give it a good shake. Yeah, as long as you, you get more than Drewzy because he has 12. <laughs> All right, general knowledge round now. Quick fire pace, 10 AFL general knowledge questions. Are you ready? Yep. All right, your time starts now. Who introduced the indigenous round to the AFL? Uh, Kevin Cheedy. Correct. Who won the 2008 minor premiership? Uh, Geelong. Correct. And which year did Adam Simpson overtake as West Coast head coach? 2013. 2014. What position did the Hawks finish in 2019? Uh, tenth. Ninth. The Brownlow Medal was named after who? Charles Brownlow. Chaz Brownlow. Which <laughs> coach has the has won the most grand finals in VFL AFL history? Uh, Norm Smith. Jock McHale. Who was the most recent player to win a Norm Smith Medal on a losing team? Uh. Nathan Buckley. Chris Dodd. Did another grounds hold the AFL Grand Final in 1992? Waverley. Oh, did Wait. another ground hold the AFL Grand Final? Oh, yeah, 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 no. yeah, yes. No, I'm not alright. Was, what animal, what animal was the mascot of the Brisbane Bears? A bear. A koala. <laughs> <laughs> True or false, the 2015 Grand Final was on my birthday. True. Yes, it was true. Um. And if Frio won that prelim, it would have been a derby grand final on my birthday. Which yeah. would have been insane. Yeah, but, um, that would have been nuts. What, what's even more insane is that he's gone on a career performance here in the second time recording this. He's gone in five in the second round, which ties Druzy's last place performance on 12. And now he's going to potentially play in the grand final. Massive. How are you feeling? Absolutely massive. Oh, look, it's um, it's good to bounce back. And, uh, yeah, a couple of doozies in that one, which was good. Um, yeah, I'll, we'll see how we go. I'm not getting too ahead of myself. Cardi's put on quite the lead here. So, uh, yeah, now it is the slow burn. You have nine clues to either answer AFL player, coach, Guernsey, or stadium. In this case, nine clues to guess an AFL Coleman Megalus in the last 10 years. So, um, how this works... You have nine clues. If you get on the first clue, you get nine points. Second clue, eight points. Third, seven, etc. Let's get into this. And if you want to play in the grand final, you have to score seven to tie with Kagi, and eight to wait, and eight to overtake him. Massive. So Massive. If, if there is a tie, it goes to the highest round one score. And I've actually made a rule book. There is a rule book, and I'll even show you the date modified, which was like in May. Mm. So, th this is official, I'm not rigging it here. So, anyway, are you ready? Yeah, yeah. This is huge. He plays at a Victorian club. <sighs> um, yeah, alright. Okay. If you want to overtake Kagi, you have to guess on this clue now. Yeah. He is a multiple, he is a... Jack Raywell. Yeah! <laughs> How's he, how's he dug it from, I said the word multiple. Is that it? Is that yeah, the Yeah, it is. Yes, boys. He's on That's 20. how it's done. He's in first place. On the first recording, <laughs> he's second last in the series. Nah, Now great, he's just top to the grand final. And we're not even going to worry result. about the first one. Because he <laughs> is the winner of season one. And Massive. he's in the grand final. Playing the so winner of season two. And my mm. laptop's died. Even better. So, <laughs> um, th this is amazing scenes here at the G. Overall, the league board stands like this. In fifth place, Juzi. Embarrassing. In fourth place, Sammy GFC. In, in third place, Mitchie Ryan. In second place, by one point missing out, is Cardman, 22. And in first place, it's why he's a world, he's a pop star around the world. Like, you can't get bigger than this man. And he's come to show it here. First place, 
on Season 1. We'll now play the winner of Season 2. How are you feeling after that? Look, great. I, um... Yeah, felt at home. Felt at home. Was uh, a bit more used to the conditions this time around and, uh... Yeah, luckily the audio fell through and I'm back. I'm back big time. And that's what I thought the score was. Until I realised... Carney also had 20 points. So going back to the rule that I said earlier. So if, if there is a tie, it goes to the highest round one score. And I've actually made a rule book. So yes, the highest first round score c gets through to the grand final. Kagan's first round score was seven. Cartman's first round score was nine. Which means Kagan McDonald. The king of YouTube isn't through. So I felt Master Mark Grand Final. I think it's in fact Card Man 22 is through. So um yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. As always, Kang's link will be in the description. If you haven't heard of him, I don't know what you're doing. Click up the video. Go sub to him because he he's amazing. Anyway, hope you did enjoy it. See you later and see you for A for Mastermind season two.